I'm going to fly from Bowling Green Airport over to Marshall Memorial Airport using the Hallsville VOR to get me there. For the first leg, I'm going to fly from Bowling Green to the Hallsville VOR. However, I'm purposely just going to take off from Bowling Green and not even worry about the course I need to be on as I'll show you a trick you can use to go to a VOR directly once you're in the air. Then once I arrive at the VOR indicator, I can see on skyvector.com that I will need to fly on the 263 degree radial from the VOR station over to Marshall Memorial Airport. So I'm going to use the first VOR indicator to handle Bowling Green to the Hallsville VOR station and the second VOR indicator to handle flying from the Hallsville VOR to Marshall Memorial. Let's go ahead and set up the second VOR indicator now. We know the Hallsville VOR station is 114.2, so we will set the NAV2 radio, which corresponds to the second VOR indicator to 114.2. We will also want to turn the OBS knob so that we are set to 263 degrees like so. So now the second leg of the trip is set. Going back to NAV1, we will set the radio to 114.2, but we won't worry about setting the VOR indicator just yet as I want to show you the trick when we get in the air. However, we know the Hallsville VOR is to the west-southwest of Bowling Green Airport, so we will point our plane in that general direction after we take off. So we've taken off from Bowling Green and we are flying west-southwest. So what is the trick? Well, we know we want to fly to the Hallsville VOR for the first leg of the trip, so we can determine what course we need by rotating the OBS knob until we see the 2 flag and also we get the CDI needle centered. So in this example, we can see that the course we need to fly on is 242 degrees. We then simply turn the plane to the heading that matches what we see on the VOR indicator. If the needle gets off, we make adjustments until it gets centered again, meaning if it's to the right, we turn right, or if it's to the left, we turn left. In truth, if the plane could see the VOR frequency on the ground, we could have just done the same trick on the ground before even taking off. You can use this trick, by the way, if you get lost. Once we reach the VOR station, we can simply turn to the heading of 263 degrees and refer to our second VOR indicator to keep us on track. Remember, we are flying from the VOR station at this point, so we should see the flag indicating from, which it does. I can now see Marshall Memorial Airport in the distance. And we have now landed. So try this to get from one airport to another. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.